The impact of emotions on health. I want to talk to everyone more about the root of severe diseases and how to recover from them. So everyone, let's recall, when we were practicing energy bhagwa, what kind of information did I remind you of in my guidance? Our health and happiness are always tied to nature, right? I love nature. I love mountains. I love rocks. I love grassy fields. I love water. I love rivers. I love all of them. I'll become one with all of them. Only when we think this way can we relax. If I think about ghosts coming in when you're practicing, and one ghost after another enters, I think everyone will leave within half an hour. We've talked about becoming one with nature. Actually, looking from a greater perspective on life, if everything contained in our body decomposes, You'll find that the natural energy on this earth makes up our body. Like within our body, over 70% is made of water. Right. So that's why I say, I love water, I love nature, I love rivers, and I love the sea. I'm right to love them. When we're in this kind of mood, We'll have love and a relatively peaceful mentality. You feel comfortable, right? If you say, I hate water, and have hateful thoughts, will you still feel comfortable? Think about it. It doesn't matter who or what you hate. When you hate someone or something from the outside world, you're actually trapped by this spell of hatred. Your life will be filled with this element of hatred. But when I come to love this world, my life is filled with loving, peaceful, and relaxing elements. I can be healthy easily. Any negative thinking and emotion will hurt others, and us even more. When you hate him, you're surrounded by hate. Then illnesses will be created as a result. I hate it. When the word hate is constantly present in our brain, what marks will it leave on our cells? The cause of disease, also known as the factor for severe disease, extreme sadness, hatred, fear, stress, disdain, and other negative emotions, and other negative emotions, or the desire for revenge, are all negative. When we have more negativity in us, and it becomes severe, please remember that it may become a source of severe illness. Diseases that can't be cured by medicine. Practitioners might ask, then how can one recover or stop illnesses from worsening? We need to have a good, tolerant and compassionate heart that guides our perspective and thinking.
At this time, there's something called self-correction. You start correcting from your heart. You'll view everything with a compassionate and tolerant heart. Remember, always add in a heart of compassion and tolerance in viewing everything in this world, especially seemingly negative things. Only then can you treat and solve the situation with more perfected wisdom. When you face and solve things with this mentality and spiritual height, you'll avoid negative emotions caused by negative matters. You'll ultimately avoid illnesses caused by negative emotions. Moderate and severe illnesses won't be stimulated easily. 普通疾病的病因都不会被激发。